Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Psychoduck, and I'm here with another uh, tutorial to share with you guys for Halo 4 Forge. Uh, if you saw our video the other day about uh, getting Dominion turrets in all game modes, this is basically an extension of that. You can also get these Dominion vehicle pads in all game modes. So, um, <clears throat> basically the way this works is... Uh, you know, you would just take a Dominion vehicle pad. Here, I'll just show you guys. Uh, you would you would go into Dominion, and you would go into vehicle pads, and then you can do whatever uh, vehicle you want. And uh, then all you have to do is set it to whichever team you want. You don't need any label or anything and you know you can be in basic editing you don't have to be in the Dominion Forge game mode so what's cool about this is that uh, you can actually make it so that you know if you're in a big team map or maybe you'd want to use this for a mini game or something uh, you can't steal the enemy team's vehicles so I'm I'm over here on blue side and I can uh, take this warthog but then if I drive over to red side you'll see I cannot get in their warthogs. So that's something, that it, it might be a bit gimmicky, but it could also have some cool uses. Uh, basically, you know, if you just don't want one team to steal the other team's vehicles. Uh, so, you know, you get in the ghost, whatever, you can do whatever you want. Um, and it, it's just a pretty cool little trick. So the reason this works is uh, because uh, you set it to the specific team and the even though you don't actually own a Dominion base, the game just knows that that object belongs to your team. And that's why this works with turrets and vehicle pads, because you're actually uh, building the vehicle or the turret. Um, now, this won't work for a barricade or something like that, because those only show up when uh, your Dominion base fortifies, so there's no real way to do that outside of Dominion, uh, at least not that we know of thus far. So basically this will work with turrets or vehicle pads, and of course we have a video covering how to do it with turrets. Really straightforward, really simple, and also this uh, map, this is a map I've been working on called Panic Station, which I'll be showing you guys in a preview here in the very near future. So uh, stay tuned for more Forge tutorials and uh, map features, Halo 4 Forge information, all kinds of good stuff. We'll keep rolling those out for you guys, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.